Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a dust containment bubble. Works great for whether you're spraying, cutting some drywall, doing some painting, anything that's going to create dust, it'll contain it. All you're going to need is uh, some light plastic, 0.31 mil. This one's 12 feet wide, so it's going to drape all the way down the floor. Some push pins and inch and a quarter masking tape. First thing you want to do is get the masking tape up on the walls. This bubble is going to go out into the ceiling, so anywhere on the wall that you're going to have your bubble, you're going to need masking tape. Make sure it's stuck real good, probably about a finger's width. And then the, the remainder of the tape is going to hold the plastic. You want to over compensate for how big the area is you're going to make the bubble. I like to go probably three feet out or so from the actual repair so I can feather a texture out into the existing. That's how you get a good texture blend is just feathering it out into the existing. So uh, Alright, so what you're going to want to do is get your roll of plastic and just kind of feed it out and lay it out to where you're going to want to before, before you cut it. So uh, be a little liberal, you don't want to come up short. And then just follow it along the wall and then out into the ceiling. probably parallel with where you have the tape ending. All this depends on the configuration of your repair you're doing. So just take your razor knife, cut the plastic. Then you just want to find the one side that's all the way down to where it starts and get that under the tape. You can pull it all down later. It's actually easier if you don't pull it all down while you're trying to get it up. So just push it under the masking tape and then make sure the masking tape sticks real good to the plastic and every bit of the wall is covered by the plastic under the masking tape. Now what I like to do in the corners is put a couple push pins because a lot of times the texture will build up or something will flap and then you'll get a domino effect and all your plastic will come tumbling down. So those are a little insurance policy to keep the plastic up. They work really good. And they're also what you're going to use to keep the plastic up out into the ceiling where there's no wall to tape it to. So I'm just going to tab this here. And then I'm going to tear off some small pieces of tape and stick them to my shirt for easy access. You don't have to stick them to your shirt, but it works good for me. I can keep moving. I don't have to tear each time I need a piece of tape. They're ready to go. What I'm going to do is put it over the top of the plastic that's going out onto the ceiling. It reinforces this light plastic to where it's not going to tear or, or really come down on you when you're spraying or doing anything like that. I probably go every, I don't know, every two feet or so. Again, it depends on what you're doing and how big the area is. You want a light plastic because they can support the plastic. If you get a heavy plastic, it's going to want to pull down, especially if you get any material on it, such as popcorn spray or anything like that.
and you want to start the plastic wherever you want your door or entry into the bubble. So I want it out in front, away from the repair. And you always want to overlap the two ends a decent amount. One, because you don't want to come up short and have to piece in anything. You want a nice continuous plastic. Two, when you overlap it, it's just going to contain the dust that much better. All right, got the bubble up that quick. Gonna put a, yeah, I need a tack right there in the corner. Just gonna check it, make sure everything looks stuck. Now I'm gonna move my walk boards and drop the plastic to the floor. So once you get the plastic down to the floor, I like to just tab it with some tape, kind of move it out to the walls so you, I have plenty of room to wa work in and you, you're not stepping on the plastic because you could pull the plastic down if you step on it. So tape it out big enough so you can walk around in there. Uh, it is a concrete floor, so I really don't have to worry about the flooring that much, but I like to put plastic down anyways to catch all the mess. And then when I'm all done, I can just drop the plastic, roll it up in the floor plastic, and I don't have to clean anything. Everything's contained. Only thing exposed is the ceiling that I'm working on. Works out great. So yeah, you definitely want to tape the floor because it likes to suck in towards you and you, you want the plastic out and away from you when you're working. So, uh, nice little area to work in. It's all contained. I don't have to worry about overspray, popcorn spraying everywhere, having to do any cleanup. It's ready to spray. I'll be the boy in the bubble. Again, one more look in there before I spray the popcorn. I did spray kills in a can on that water spot and around the perimeter of the repair. There's a contractor here that's going to be respraying all these ceilings, doing some other work. They just called me in to uh, repair these popcorn ceiling areas. All right, I'm ready to spray using my RTX 1000 to spray the popcorn texture. Got a lot of pressure from the compressor on that, so this plastic really needs to be strong and hold up.
this material does have a little weight to it, so uh, definitely putting the push pin to the test. I really don't have any worries. I've done this so many times in so many different situations that uh, I know it's going to hold up. As long as I don't step on it, we're good to go. All right, I'm going to drop the plastic. When you're pulling out the push pins, you want to hang on to them so you don't step on them or anyone else does. So it's a good idea just to hold on to those. I reuse them. They last for several jobs if you keep track of them. You want to be careful when you're pulling down the, the wet plastic not to get anything on the walls. Wouldn't be a big deal on this job since it's a big remodel job, but if you're doing any repairs in an occupied home, it's crucial that you uh, pull the plastic out away from the walls. And there's the popcorn, nicely blended. Again, it feathered out which helps it blend little variation right now because it's wet but um, once it dries you're not even going to be able to see where that repair was and again there's a contractor here that's going to be priming these ceilings with the oil base stain blocking primer and painting them as well All right, got that popcorn spray. The dust containment plastic bubble worked perfectly. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave your question in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up with all my latest videos. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.